one big rule of thumb that not a lot of people talk about and I'm going to share my little secret with you all. Welcome back my beautiful queens to go Jess. I know I haven't posted last week. Life has been crazy, but I am back. We're going to do some really fun videos and today, I don't know what happened there, but today's video is all about eyeliner. On this eye, I have already created a little cat eye kind of look. I'm going to show you on this side. I haven't created a wing because I want to show you two different styles and I'm going to show you the easiest way, one of my favorite tools, things that you'll need, including your hands and nails if you have. Let's get to the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to save money, you want to learn more tips and tricks and really fun things that you can do without spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on makeup, without really knowing if it's your skin texture or for your skin type, then make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any videos. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before. I will link it up if I have. This is my favorite pen for anyone starting out. It's literally a eyeliner pen and it is so great because it's very fine. It literally can come on as thin as a dot or as thick as you want it. And you can rub it off if you do make a mistake, which when I started out, I made a lot of errors and sometimes I still make them. Like it is totally normal. I'm gonna post a photo chart here so we can kind of determine the shape of your eyes and we can go from there. One big rule of thumb that not a lot of people talk about and I'm gonna share my little secret with you all. We all have a little dip here. No matter what eye shape you have, you all have it. So mine is around here. Right? And it's there. So around there. You see how like when I'm looking straight, it really arches there. It really arches there. So a little tip I have for you is when you're doing your eyeliner. So I always start off very thin here, right? Now, when I get to this part, I can start going as thick as I want because that is the shape of my eye. I have, I would say I have kind of almondy, roundy eyes. I don't know. They kind of it changes me when I put eyeliner on and that's the fun thing about it so I can really start like I can actually go as thick as I want the whole way but a little trick if you want your eyeliner to really suit your eye you would start applying the thick thicker part from wherever your dip is towards out so if your dip is around here you'd apply it very thin and then you get very thick if your dip is around there you can start thick whenever you want but i feel like it's a really fun tip to learn not a lot of people talk about that and it's something that will really help you understanding your eye and understanding how to really accentuate your beautiful features another rule of thumb is you follow the bottom of your lash line so even if you really need to draw dots so i would draw a dot here here, here, here. So that's where my line would go if I was following my lower lash line. Like I squint a little bit because I want to see what I'm doing, but I don't want to close my eyes, okay? So when you're starting here, you want to angle your brush. I like to use my pinky to kind of rest on my face. You do whatever is comfortable for you. Stand up really close to a mirror so you can see, right? And make sure there's light. Oh my God. So when you get to the inner corner, you really want to very lightly, small strokes, small strokes, just press up against that line. You know where you have your lash band? That is all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be pressing just like so. The good thing about this is you can actually use the tip because it doesn't really bend. What's a good thing in my eyes? Anyway, <laughs> so you start from your bottom lash and here's a little trick. When you do your eyeliner and you still have those little dots, you can just get a little spoolie, something like this, and you can just brush it off. Wait about one to two, mm, wait 30 seconds and then just literally brush it off and it will come off like nothing. So don't really worry too much about it. You can use the back of a eyebrow wand as well. So do you see those dots? Now that is following my lash line. That ideally is the probably easiest way to actually start doing your eyeliner. When you start getting comfortable with that, we can start playing with different ones. I'm gonna show you one on this side and a different one on this side and let's see how different my eyes look with that, okay? I very lightly Connect the dots. Now, once I get to the outer part, I start to rotate this so it's on an angular. You don't want to go like this because it's much easier to stuff it up. 
you want to kind of go on the angle. I hold my nose just to to give me some balance. Okay. Now we just connected that dot. Now it's a bit messy, but that's okay. I'm gonna get my thing and I'm gonna just connect it. Do you see how my eyes still open? Don't worry if it looks bad because you need to see, okay, this is how it's gonna look like when I'm looking straight. Now with your nail, if you don't have any nails, take a very flat brush, something like this, or like a toothpick, literally anything that is sharp, okay? I usually use my nail because it's free and I have it. So, <laughs> I get it. And I usually hold the other side of my eye because like I said, shoes are a little bit droopy. And I just sharpen the schnitzel out of it. Now, if you don't think it's sharp enough, you go back in on the angle and you like just tap it. You can never stuff up eyeliner, okay? You can never stuff up eyeliner. And do you see how it kind of gives you that little line? Look how sharp that is. Sharp enough to cut. Anyway. So now I squint my eyes. Still holding my nose. And I do very light strokes. To make sure it's all like even because I feel like that's my biggest thing to make sure it's even you can go in from here and I like to start off where that line is that we manipulated and I just leave it like that I get my nail again so it's like a little triangle that I just drew now that is one eye. Now you just want to again tap on everything. Now, instead of me following my lash line, what I'm going to do, follow the line that I just created on my eye. Now what that's going to do is that's going to really elongate your eye. Now I like to also tilt the little pen. Like so. And see how I'm doing very little strokes. Nothing crazy. I'm literally, don't worry about how bad that looks, it's fine. I'm just following. See, that looks so bad, right? That's okay. Don't stress. Now we got the line. Now see this little gap I have here? We're gonna just fill that and connect it. Okay, we got that. Again, with your nail. When you are doing eyeliner, start with little small strokes and start thin. When you start thick, like I did, and you stuff up, you just have to go thicker and it's just the easiest way to fix something. So, because I don't really like how this line is, I'm gonna just thicken it a little bit. See when I do little strokes, how sharp that looked out? Looked out, turned out. Again with our nail. Oh. How gorgeous. Now when you hold it that flat, it's so much easier to gain momentum. So when you hold it flat like this, you're actually helping the liner to look more sharp. Whereas if you're holding it like this, it's harder. But the best thing I've said about this is it doesn't really move the edge. So you can really create a, your desired shape. Now I want you to look at both eyes and tell me which one is your favorite. And if you see the difference in how they both look, okay? So we have this eye. 
then we have this eye. Now, when you're looking at this, I feel like you can already kind of tell the vibe. This is a more very lifted kind of like keeps my eye looking really big, keeps my eye kind of fresh and lifted. When you look at this eye, I feel like it gives you more of a sexy slow, slow tree, slow tree. I never know how to say that word. I'm like, what? Slow tree look and it just kind of elongates my eye. Let me know if you want more tips. This is just a very simple way to do it. If you want more of an in-depth video, let me know. I just thought this would be fun to kind of film and show you the easiest ways to do it. You literally just need your nails and you need a pen. And the reason I like that is because it doesn't dry really quick and you can move it as you wish. Keep slaying and subscribe my beautiful queens. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you want to see next. Thank you all my beautiful queens. I have no idea where I was going with that. Anyway, bye.